Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to the straw processing mod by NYKK3. So this is a production mod for all platforms. I'm going to teach you just kind of how to use this mod, just kind of in general. This isn't a super in-depth um, tutorial into productions themselves, but we're just going to cover this one specifically um, and the other buildings that are in this pack. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to talk about, is it actually worth it to use this mod? Should you use this mod or should you just set it aside because it's not going to make you any money? So we'll take a look at all that. But anyhow, regardless of that, it's cool that we have a new mod in here uh, called Straw Processing, where we can process straw and materials into different items. So let's go ahead and jump in with how to use this. So in terms of placing this, if we go into our build menu, you see we have a cell point over here. We have the facility itself, which is the production point, and then the storage point over here. So if we go to production, all the way at the very end, $70,000 to place that right there. There you go. And if we go to selling points right here, $500 to place the straw selling point. Now, if we go to buildings um, and then we go to silos, we will be over here. We'll have a $30,000 storage facility, which will just basically hold the products we're gonna make. Now what this makes, straw crates, which I don't think you can put anything in them, but they're technically 1,000 liter crates here. They're 1,000 liter straw crates. And then we also have these, 1,000 liters of straw accessories, which is pretty cool. Uh, in general, it's a very nifty mod, but yeah. So the way productions work is you have an input and an output. So these are your outputs here. We're gonna get those out, it's back here. Let me take a look around here. Actually, they should, where are they gonna spawn out? They actually might spawn out the front here. I'm not seeing a place for them to spawn out. So we'll take a look at that here. But back here, this is where you're gonna put your straw in. This is where you're gonna put your water in because that's one of the other materials. And then you can access the production menu by going right here. So if we went into here and we wanted to go ahead and we'll just put some straw in here. I have a mod installed that allows me to do this, which is awesome. We're gonna need a lot more than that to get just enough to be able to do this production chain here. That's probably plenty of water. I wanna go ahead and activate that just so we can see where these guys are gonna spawn out. So there's not an obvious place out, which I didn't even bother checking because normally it's very obvious, but we'll let that start running. But in, a sense, in essence here, what's gonna happen is you have these two different recipes here. Um, this recipe, so this is one cycle here. We'll take 10 liters of straw and 0.5 liters of water and give you one liter of straw accessories. The straw crate will give you 10 liters, or if you put in 10 liters of straw and one liter of water, you will get one liter of straw crate. So um, those are the two um, recipes here. Um, that This one here runs at 24,000 cycles per month. So that means that this is gonna happen 24,000 times per month. So it's gonna produce 24,000 liters of those. This one will happen 48,000 times per month. So just be aware of that. This is how much it's gonna cost you to run each of these productions per month. So if you have both of them running, you'll have to be paying, you'll be paying 480 essentially in terms of that. Um, and then status running. So that means it's running down here. I hit this to activate or deactivate it. We want that one active. Um, we're not gonna activate, we can activate that as we want, but we're gonna deactivate it because we don't want that one running right now. So that's just how those are gonna work for us. Now over here, we can see how many we have for, in, or how much we have for uh, incoming materials. And then this is our outgoing materials. Now you can see it's in storing mode right now. There's different modes. If I change that to selling, it'll automatically sell the products to the store. Um, you will take about a 30 to 40% pay cut in terms of that. So you're not gonna make as much money doing that or distributing. It's gonna move these further along in the process to another production facility, but I'm gonna leave that on storing. Now, obviously we don't have another production uh, point, at least right now, that's gonna take these and produce them into something different. But what we do have is that storage facility I kind of mentioned, where it's gonna just basically, it runs as a production where it intakes straw accessories and crates and outputs the same thing, because all you're doing is you're just storing them in this facility. But the benefit of this being a production as well is that if I have these set to distributing, it'll automatically move them into our storage facility. So these are just gonna hold on to your items for you. Now, if we go take a look at the storage facility real quick, right over here, I can access it by hitting the wrench. This is where I can put stuff in here. And then right here, if I open my help menu, this is, says turn on pallet spawn. So if I left click there, it'll move those out of the way and pallets can spawn here. If I have that turned on, even if that's in storing mode, it will not spawn any pallets until you turn that off. But that's in essence, the straw processing storage facility here. So you can store your goods there. But let's go ahead and spade up a little bit of time so we can see where uh, one of our pallets is gonna come out for this guy. So we already have we go up to here, we already have 19 liters, so it's not gonna take us very long uh, to get 1,000 liters if we speed this production point up a little bit here. So you can see 38 there, we'll just go a little bit faster. Well, maybe even a little bit faster than that just to speed it up really quick. But it should storing, we should be getting close to, there we go, we're getting really close to 1,000. And boom, we're at 1,000 liters. So if we slow time back down, it should spawn out a pallet for us since we have that set up right there for us. And oh, actually, you know what? It's gonna be right up here. It's gonna be just working like that one right here. So just like that that storage facility over there, if I turn this on, now it's gonna spawn a pallet out here for us. Boom, there we go. So that's where we're gonna get them, just out the back there. 
Now, one thing I will note, I have super strength on so I can move this. You normally can't move the accessory pallets with super strength on. However, even without super strength, so you guys on consoles, you guys can move these guys right here. Um, so that is something to note as far as that goes. But that's how that bot is gonna work for you. Very simple, you're just gonna input um, straw and water and get that stuff out. Now, the next thing we're gonna look at is the profitability of this. So up on your screen right now, you're gonna see a chart this does use the Steam price sheet for pricing just for the straw, and that will be linked down below in the description. What that is is just um, a, a pricing based on the XML, the game of what you're gonna get normally for uh, if you sell price or you sell uh, straw at a good price. And then we're running this in economic difficulty normal. So that's what we're basing all these prices off of and everything like that. So down below, you can see prices used. We used uh, the price of $74 per thousand liters for straw. And then we you have a price listed for straw accessories and straw crates. And that's simply what you're gonna sell those for um, if you went to go take them to the market for a good price. Now this input, output, and profit per cycle thing here, we have it for straw accessories and straw crates on here. The input, that's 0.74, so it's 74 cents basically. Um, what that is saying is that's how much it costs, or that's how much you would make if you sold the input for that cycle um, instead of putting it in here. Now I don't have water included. I'm assuming you're gonna get water for free. Sometimes you may purchase water and that could add a little bit to the cost here, but it's not gonna add a lot regardless of that. So I'm assuming water's free because usually most maps you can get water for free and there are free modded uh, water cell points that allow you to get water for free from. But regardless of that, so both of these require 10 straw. So the price for the input is $0.74 um, dollars or 74 cents per one cycle. Now, I know these do run at quite a ridiculous amount of cycles, but we'll cover that in a little bit. Then the output, that's how much you're gonna sell that one liter of product you're gonna get. So for straw accessories, you sell it for $3.02, and for straw crates, you sell it for $2.29. Um, then profit per cycle, obviously straw accessories is the best, but you're making $2.28 per cycle, and the straw crate, you're making $1.55 per cycle. Now, if we go down to the very bottom, profit per month. So that means we're taking that profit per cycle, multiplying it by how many cycles are gonna happen in a month, and now we're gonna find out how much we're making. So for straw accessories, you'll make $54,720 per month. And for straw crates, you'll make right around $74,400. So you're gonna make more off of straw crates, but a couple things to note, the pallets are only 1,000 liter pallets for both of these. And for straw crates, you're gonna be dealing with, as it says down there, made per month, 48 pallets per month. So that's per day in game if you have one month day set. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna be dealing with a lot more pallets. So maybe kind of a pain if you do it that way. For straw accessories, um, you're only gonna have 24 pallets to do with instead, though you're not gonna be able to lift them by hand unless you have super strength or some other mod that allows you to do that. Now, another thing I would note, these are actually having a high enough profit margin, especially since you're putting straw, which is typically a waste product, especially since you're putting that in, this has enough of a high profit margin that this one will actually really make you still quite a bit of money if you had it set to uh, selling. So even if you're losing, let's say 40% of that profit down below, you're still gonna be making, you know, uh, anywhere from twenty to fifty thousand dollars a month profit off of this facility, so it actually might be worth setting it to selling. But there you guys go. Hopefully that helped you decide if you want to use this mod and if it's really worth it. But this is the straw processing mod by NKKY3. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.